Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here to finally do that release and review video. My stuff got here, so let's dive into the January, um, the early January release that we had with the adorable uh, gnomes and everything. So here we go. So I'm starting out with the XOXO stamp set and the XOXO outline dies. They are amazing. And I'm just going to quickly grab a piece of Desert Storm cardstock, and this is at 4.25 um, by five and a half inches. So this is basically an A2 sized card front. And these are the sentiments stamped out. So you've got Be Mine. They're stamped and cut out using the outline dies. Be Mine, Love You, Hugs and Kisses, Happy Valentine, or Happy Valentine's Day, sorry, Kiss Me, XOXO, Be My Valentine, and My Love. And you can see they're nice, big, beautiful sentiments, and they have a gorgeous font and the convenience of uh, outline dies if you order those too. So awesome, awesome stuff. Gotta love that. And as you can see, I used them on these two cards that I made um, for the release, but I didn't have the outline dies yet. So that's what they looked like there. Next, I'm gonna look at the amazing Valentine word dies. They are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dies. And I went ahead and I cut them all out and layered them so you can see what they look like cut out so these are nice big dies so that same piece of a2 size cardstock and we've got valentine's we've got mine we've got b so be mine we've got love xoxo we've got valentine's day look how large these are beautiful this is hugs then we've got valentine's you can put be my valentine right there we've got hugs and kisses or you could just write my valentine so you can see how big those are they're beautiful i love the font gorgeous stuff right there and there's the xoxo beautiful those are um, like a sparkle paper and um, put on vellum for the backing so beautiful stuff and for the release I use the love one right here, you can see. Next, we're gonna talk about the Valentine Candies grid style stamp set. So these are those ones that stamp as a unit, as you can see, they stamp as a unit and then you use the Valentine grid die to cut them out. So you can cut out nine candy backings um, in one go. And uh, so you've got Be Mine, XOXO, February 14th, Hugs and Kisses, Lips, Love You, Little Heart, heart and Arrow, Happy Valentine's Day Hugs. And then we've got Little Heart Shaped Glasses, Cupid, Little Heart Lock, Kiss Me Love, Be My Valentine, Little Heart Comment, Sugar Rush, and Little Hearts. And then you can have a two and a from and a beautiful Happy Valentine's Day and a Cupid Hugs and Kisses. Now, um, if you wanted to just stamp them on a card, There we go. You can see the size of them. Nice big sentiments. Beautiful, nice for tags. And lastly, I have my two projects that I used, that I made with them for the release. So there, there's the Cupid Kisses. And then you notice that on the backs of the Kisses, I have the little stamped sentiments, which is lots of fun. Okay, next we have the Floral Heart stamp set. It's beautiful. There we go. You see how big and gorgeous that heart is. It's beautiful. Lots of different, like the heart, you could pop up these other little images on the heart if you'd like, make your own little wreath, and then the beautiful word hello. And then you can buy the floral outline dies, which are amazing. And they look like that. They cut out um, all of these gorgeous pieces with a nice border, gorgeous stuff. And for the release, I made this hello shaker card. And I use those pieces to make my own little wreath. Awesome stuff. And then here is the stamped floral heart that I just stamped onto an actual card front. And look how beautiful that is. And I just colored it up. So fast and easy stuff and a beautiful set. Now we have the Galentine's Day set. Now this one is lots of fun. This is for sending cards to your girlfriends. Although I'll send my girlfriends a Valentine, but this is kind of 
it's a fun spin. So this is, uh, you're one of my favorite Galentines, anti-love potion, let's get together for drinks and gossip, fries over guys, gin-dependent woman, will you be my Galentine, happy Galentine's Day, February 13th, Galentine's Day, partners in wine, and be my Galentine. And you can see how large those sentiments are. Beautiful stuff. And for the release, there's the fries over guys sentiment that I used on a card. And then I made a tag with the others. Let's get together for drinks and gof gossip. Beautiful. Cut it out with one of the mini tag dies. Fun, fun stuff. And I have little fun drinks on there for your favorite pal, gal pal. There we go. And this was the freebie at the time. Um, I'm sure that's long gone, but it will be in the store. Um, they always put these in the store eventually. And they are cute little tag fronts. So these fit on the front of all of our mini tag dies. Uh, a lot of our treat fronts have uh, will fit these, you know, the gable box die, all of those. So lots of fun. And this one says, there's no one I'd rather shop and drink and gossip with. Happy Galentine's Day. And then this one is Galentine's Day noun, a day for gals to celebrate other gals, February 13th. So it's just a fun little tag, uh, you know, or you could use it on a card because I've done that in the past. Lots of fun to use these on cards. Um, like I said, and I didn't use this in this last release, but like I said, lots of fun, awesome images. You can just stamp it, tie it onto a gift for a friend and give it to them on February 13th. Lots of fun. Okay, and last but not least, the amazing gnome dies. They are out of this world. And um, Jada Blossom made this adorable gnome. And you can have him holding um, a little cup. You can have him with um, shoes or bare feet, holding a little flower. And like with the plain hat, striped hat, whatever you'd like. Lots of beautiful stitching on there. I'll show you it in a minute. And then a gnome dyes Valentine add-ons. And I think you know where this is going. If you're a gnome lover, you're going to want this. Because I, I don't know, a little birdie might have talked about some stuff for future holidays cards and stuff like that you know future gnome dress-up stuff and I'm all over the gnome dress-up stuff so this has a little heart hat with little heart cutouts um, you can have them holding a heart have them hold, holding an envelope or put a little heart on there to make it a valentine um, you can put little wings on them like cupid you can have him holding a little bow and arrow adorable adorable stuff and I went ahead and I made these gnomes so you can see the size of them. And hello, look at that. So isn't that the darn cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh my goodness. So this is using that first set. Obviously, you're going to need the first set because that gives you the base, um, the base shape. And um, it gives you the base hat along with the beard. And, um, you know, the shoes and the, the little feet. But everything else will be add-ons, so it'll be fun. So this one I used exclusively stuff from this little die set. Like, hello, look how big that is. That's an HU size card base. Really takes it up. You could put it on a tag. Adorable, adorable stuff. Then for the other set, the little gnome Valentine add-ons, I made a little Cupid with sparkly wings holding an envelope. And... Obviously, the little heart hat that I just cut out. I cut out and I just used the frame of it to stick on the hat that you get on um, in the normal gnome dies. And look at that. Cut it out of um, craft paper, put it onto patterned. How cute is that? Little bare feet for the gnome. I popped them up just to give it a little bit of dimension. How cute is that? And then you'll notice that I added a few little um, strokes of Copic marker just to give the beards like a little hair. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that at all. And how cute is that? Now, you'll see, I did put together the other pieces. Um, so you've got a little, little heart. You can have this guy holding a little bow and arrow instead, right? You can have this guy holding a little flower instead. Or you can guy hold, have this guy holding a little heart. So look how cute is that? How cute are these? You need these in your life. I think this release was just fantastic. And um, 
you know, stay tuned because what I did after this, I'm going to put a quick time lapse video up at the end and you can watch me use the pieces and put these guys all together. So you know what, what all the pieces are and what they're for. Just makes things easier for you. So thank you so much for stopping by. Um, be sure to, you know, stay tuned and watch to the end of the um, little video, video there. I'll chat you through it. And that's about it. So hopefully this made your day. It made mine. I think these this was the most adorable re release from Jada Blossom. You just need it in your life. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon in my next video. Like I say, stay tuned and you can see me put these guys together. Bye everyone. Okay guys, so here we go putting this little gnome together starting with uh, gnome dice. And you'll notice that I pop up the little nose and the uh, little mustache just to add a little dimension. So now we'll put together the flower with the little hands and he can either hold the flower for this set like uh, that or he can hold the coffee cup or it could be hot cocoa. How cute is that? So now I'm making the Valentine add-ons. Same thing, beard first, then I'm adding the feet, then I'm going to layer up the hat, add the hat, the mustache and nose go on next and then whatever he's holding is last. And I've got little wings, sparkly wings. Now he can be holding a heart. He could be holding a little bow and arrow, which is fun. Or he can be holding um, a little Valentine. And I love these. I just love these. And I believe they're back in stock. So you better hop on over to the Jada Blossom store and maybe put these in your cart. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, every time I get a comment, I'm just thrilled. So thank you. And we will see you soon in my next video. Bye, everyone.